Hello guys, this is Pawan from Amirotronics. So today we are here with one more uh, ESP IDEA based tutorial. So in this tutorial we are going to tell you about how, uh, what is semaphore, how it works basically. So semaphore is, uh, what is semaphore? In, uh, in case of uh, semaphore uh, uh, in uh, OS, whenever there is, uh, there is uh, there are two tasks running or two functions, uh, whatever you call, so uh, semaphore notifies to the other that uh, for for time being just run this and then return to the uh, main function so just like uh, it, it is it is just like notification it is notifying to other task that this needs to be executed and uh, there are two uh, basically functions relate apis related to semaphore in case of uh, free artos which is x uh, x task x semaphore uh, take and x semaphore give so without uh, giving it will not take so uh, so first uh, any if uh, priority would be same for both the tasks then x semaphore take will execute first so okay let's just uh, get start let's get started with the project and understand how this semaphore will uh, work in the real world so okay so we will just create a new espresso idea project and uh, here i'll just give a name esp idf semaphore okay so next and finish okay so this is the uh, template project we have just created now we will just uh, go to our main function so here uh, uh, some short of code i have uh, already written uh, so i'll just copy that and paste it here so this is my semaphore code so we will just copy it so here you go so now you can see we have uh, uh, if, uh, if from the starting we see we have x semaphore handle and we have declared one variable uh, of that handler uh, which is semaphore and here in the app main function this semaphore we are assigning x semaphore create binary this is again uh, one api from uh, free autos we are assigning it to semaphore now we have the two task x task create task one and then task two descriptions descriptive names are also same task one and task two we are allocating 1024 into 2 means 2048 memory and priorities are uh, both for both both the task priorities are set to two so what will happen now here in this case uh, if uh, uh, whenever this these tasks will execute then it will just uh, go to uh, task 1 and task 2 so at, uh, it will perform task uh, 1 first because uh, if it will go to task 2 then x semaphore gave there is no semaphore actually because without taking uh, without giving it will not take sorry it, it will not go to this task x semaphore take so for taking it should give so task 2 will execute first and x semaphore give will give the uh, the uh, the x semaphore give will give the semaphore to this task 1 uh, so similar way these things will work so uh, let's see how things will work in the serial monitor uh, let's just uh, build this code first uh, so i am just building it So here we go, uh, so it's building Python requirements and all it is founding. Now it will compile all the files uh, uh, in this particular project. So let's pause the video for a while and uh, let it happen. Okay.
so it's uh, about to finish so successfully created esp32 image so it means there is no error in our code now build project is 1% then after that C C++ indexer will run so yeah C C++ indexer then these errors and all will go after this a C C++ indexer completion so let it become 100% okay so here you go so here you can see all the uh, errors are gone now uh, uh, I'll just uh, run this uh, code to uh, my ESP32 so let me just connect my ESP32 to my system now it's connected so we will upload the code now So here we, we got the message hello this is a notification from Singapore received got message and after 10 seconds again I'll get that message hello this is a notification from Singapore got message received so in the same sequence it will work now uh, let's jump to the code and uh, uh, let's see how these messages uh, we are getting so first uh, uh, these are our tasks so first uh, it is just going to uh, this task uh, 2 hello this is a notification from SEMA4 ok because here it's, it can't go x SEMA4 take uh, it will reject as, uh, as it's not x SEMA4 first x SEMA4 should give then it only it will take so then x SEMA4 give is called and so that's why we are not getting this got message message we are getting this axiom uh, it is just sending us to here axiom of our take and then we are just printing received so hello this is a notification from Singapore received got message like that we are printing hello this is a notification from Singapore got message received Okay, I think now we are getting got message and then receive so let's try to reduce the delay okay let's uh, make a delay of 5 seconds only because first message we got correct after that we are not getting correct message so uh, I think this way the semaphore works I understood now uh, what is the problem because first message we uh, we got semaphore uh, uh, it, it, it is printed like hello this is a notification from semaphore then receive and then got message uh, after that hello this is a notification from semaphore then got message because now it will not give and take so let's just uh, upload this code okay so hello this is a notification from Singapore received got message 
yeah so first time only it is printing like that i understood now why it is happening like that so hello this is a notification from sima4 received got message and then again received because uh, uh, received got message and then again received because uh, he, uh, this task is also running now take give and take is not that uh, taking any uh, level so uh, I'll, I'll also do priority set to one and just upload this we'll build upload it again and let's see the result now So hello, this is notification from Singapore. Received got message. Hello, this is notification from Singapore. Got message received. So first time we are getting that uh, that print operation. So if you want to avoid uh, first time uh, that uh, uh, that particular task, uh, then you can use Singapore here. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any doubt regarding this, just feel free to comment us below. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.